Hey everybody. So this is going to be part one of a tutorial for generally working on resin model kits. So I've plugged up that side of the sink, put a little regular uh, dish soap in there, and nice warm water. So for this demonstration I'm going to be working with the Captain Cardboard Ares, small Ares model, which has a number of pieces to it. Uh, Basically you need two baths, one warm and soapy, the other one's going to be a nice and cool no soap bath, and then a drying rack can be handy but you don't need it. Some paper towels are helpful as well, not only to absorb all the water mess that's going to happen but to dry them off and help that move along a lot faster too. So over the next few minutes, I'll just start uh, dropping these pieces in the bath here. And I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So if you got a lot of little pieces, such as this one has, rather than losing them in the big sink, you may want to get a smaller uh, bucket of some sort and put them in that instead. There's no danger of these parts going down the sink, which would be a really a huge hassle there. But these are really small, and they are delicate, and I don't want them getting loose. So, put those in this, and then sink that. So we'll give that a few minutes. Oh, the other thing you'll need is a... Uh, sponge that you don't mind not using on your dishes. It's probably safe enough, but just as general policy, I try not to mix my uh, work materials with my food eating materials. Didn't do Van Gogh very much good, and it won't do anyone else much good either, so better safe than sorry is the general policy. But basically, you can either use the sponge size or if you got a scrubby side, just give them a quick once over. It doesn't have to be anything real severe. What this is going to do is get rid of any mold release that any particular maker may have used. Not all of them use mold release. I don't believe uh, Captain Cardboard does. However, as a general policy, it's uh, better to just treat all the pieces the same. Ooh. That was a mistake. So I just lost a few of those uh, small pieces there. Whether you do the insides or not, it's up to you. But make sure you go over the surface completely. And that'll do you well. If you have any delicate uh, details on the piece, make sure to be really careful about cleaning around them. Generally speaking, the soap should be good enough to uh, get rid of everything just sitting in the bath. Giving it the extra scrub just in helps ensure that. And as these have a lot of delicate little protrusions on them, I'm going to let them soak a little longer than the other big flat pieces. If you don't wash the mold release off, then uh, it's not a super bad thing. However, the consequences can include bad paint adhesion, uh, bad glue adhesion, and uh, just you know, it's just really a hassle. Oh, ooh, I thought I cracked this one. So like I said, be very careful when you're dealing with these. There can be some really fragile pieces. seen some folks that will clean these with a toothbrush. I don't think you really need to go to that degree, but that will certainly get into any little tiny nooks and crannies that any particular model may have. Okay, so at this point I'm going to very slowly drain the sinks this side of the sink out 
keep my hand down there to make sure that no parts that may have flown free and I haven't detected yet can uh, swim away. There's a part. Nope. If any little pieces do come along, don't bother searching for them right then, just keep this hole covered. So it looks like I got that one little piece. And there's nothing else down here, nothing in the trap. So I'll rinse this out. And again, this has all the small pieces, so I'll let those soak a little while longer. And over here, I'll just give them a second quick uh, once over with the sponge. And the parts should be squeaky clean. One thing I will say in uh, favor of the toothbrush is that it does get these really small parts really nicely. Get an electric brush if you can and let that do all the work for you. Put a small dab of soap directly on the brush, get it a little wet, go to town.